And essentially what we are is think about Netflix for music producers. The art of the elevator pitch has been lost and we're here to bring it back. After five years and 3,000 pitches, we've developed a simple formula that anyone can build from. Who are you? What is your company? What problem do you solve? How do you solve it? Who's going to pay you money? What do you need? Nail that in 30 seconds and you're on your way. How will today's entrepreneur do? Pitch practice is now in session. Cool. My name is Steven and I run a company called Academy.fm. And essentially what we are is think about Netflix for music producers. It's really expensive to go to music school. It costs a lot of money. And really the people are teaching are not professionals. They're just teachers. So we have thousands of courses and tutorials. It costs 15 bucks a month. That's it. Now, let's break down today's pitch. That was a nice, short, clean pitch. Thank you, Stephen, from Academy FM. We know exactly who you are and exactly what you do. It's academy.fm. So instead of academy.com, it's academy.fm. Very clear, simple. Uh, would help to know some of your background. How'd you get here? Why, why you? Do you? Are you a musician? Are you a software developer? We don't know. Um, it would help us, one way or the other, to know who you are, why you started this. Why are you qualified to do this? Stephen's very clear about the problem. Um, he may, be, may have stepped on some toes there, and that's okay. If you're not stepping on some toes, you're not going out of bounds uh, enough. Uh, the problem, he said, was it's expensive to learn music, and when you go to a music school, you're learning from teachers, not, music, not musical professionals. So he was stepping on the toes of music teachers there, um, and I guess maybe he had a bad experience. I don't know. Uh, but he, you're not learning from rock stars. You're learning from teachers. Uh, that's his point. Whether I agree with that or not is, is irrelevant. Um, that's his stance, and that's what he's building on. So the problem, very clear, it's expensive to go to music school. I love the way he grabbed that analogy for his solution, Netflix for music producers. And then he said, we have thousands of courses and tutorials, and it's 15 bucks a month. So very much like Netflix, you know, eight, nine, 10 bucks a month, and you get everything you want. Same thing here at academy.fm, thousands of courses and, and tutorials on how to play different instruments or how to uh, make different music um, for 15 bucks a month, flat fee. However, he said it's Netflix for music producers. I totally disagree with that. It's Netflix for musical students. Anybody who wants to learn how to make music, how to play a specific instrument. So you can be just a little clearer there. The point here is your words matter. Producer is very different from musician or music student. Very different. So it's Netflix for music students or Netflix for people who want to learn music. Netflix for people who want to use, learn how to use a musical instrument. And then he could have named a few of them, but he didn't. Anyway, you get the picture. It's very clear what his solution is, but every word matters. We don't know who his customers are by his pitch. We can assume, and I think accurately infer and be comfortable in doing that, that his customers, the people who are paying that 15 bucks a month, are people who want to learn music. Now, does that go from age 10 to age 99? I don't know. Uh, I imagine if you dug in to his metrics on his customers, you'd be able to tell there's probably a, some specific demographics there. I don't know what they are, but um, if there's an ideal customer profile that he has, and um, he later told us that he has literally thousands of paying customers. So uh, if he could dig into those those customers, get a little bit of demographic information, then he could uh, target his future band of customers very, very easily. So we're inferring, we're guessing from his pitch that his customer is uh, anybody who wants to learn how to play music, which can be anybody. We can all learn it. It's a great thing for your brain. What did Steven ask for? He didn't ask for anything, nothing. So does that mean he doesn't need anything? I doubt it. He wouldn't have been there if he didn't need anything. And he didn't ask for help, didn't ask for referrals, didn't ask for anything. He just stopped. So I don't, it doesn't really matter what you do or what stage of your businesses are. You always need something. You know, if you're Apple, the, the most valuable company in the world, you need something. You might need new talent. You might need, um, you know, new forms of innovation. Uh, you may need new, new technology. They're always acquiring companies. Uh, so you need something. So you take it way down to, a, you know, a startup that's got, you know, a few employees. They need something. And if nothing else, 
You want your audience to do something. So if they're, you're not asking for something that you need, you at least have a call to action. So Stephen could have said, go to academy.fm and learn how to play your favorite musical instrument or something like that. Make it a call to action. You have people's attention for one reason or another. Ask them to do something and motivate them to do something and um, push your, what exactly you want them to do. If you don't ask, you don't get. Stephen, thank you for coming to Pitch Practice. We really appreciate you coming and sharing your business with us, and we wish you the best of luck. Um, I would remind everybody watching that every word matters. Netflix for music producers, very, very different than Netflix for music students. Very different. Everything matters. And ask for something, always. Always ask for something, whether it's a call to action to go to your website and use your service, or whether you are looking for talent, a co-founder, an advisor, or investor, whatever it is you're looking for, ask for it. If you don't ask, you don't get it.